The Accra Academy Senior High School is indebted to the electricity company of Ghana. On Monday, February 19th, personnel from the ECG went to disconnect the school from the national grid. Teachers' bungalows, which consume prepaid credit, were also not spared. Eventually, the school was plunged into thick darkness as some students resorted to the use of torchlights for their studies at prep. But even that, not everyone had the opportunity to study because they do not have torchlights. For the boys' school prefect, the situation is difficult. It was a surprise because it has never happened before. And even our home masters that pay for their prepaid, they are still in the blackout, which is a shock to all of us. So all that we are asking of the authorities is that due diligence must be done so that our state can be brought back to normalcy. If it continues, how is it going to affect I mean, your activities on campus? It will go a long way to affect us because basically everything we do here requires electricity from our ironing to even our assembly times and everything. So the absence of electricity will, will affect us big time. The school authorities were furious. The students were at prep and prep, there were no lights. So if students have been given assignments and things that they need to do and submit the following day, what will happen to it? They can't submit them because there was no light for them to work. He maintained that bills incurred by the school are paid by the Ghana Education Service. Hence, ECG should recourse to GES for clearance of all outstanding bills. They came here this evening and told us we are owing. So my colleague that they spoke to explained to them that, yes, yeah, if you are owing, we are not the ones who are supposed to pay. You know where you've been getting your money from. And this is not the first time. They've been paying monies to you. you. They can attest to that fact. That it's not the school that pays. They know where the money comes from. So if you come to the school and because it has not been fulfilled, you want to cut us or take us from the national grid, what are you doing to ourselves? School currently is not aware how much it is indebted to ECG and the number of months in arrears. Accra Academy owns a generator that provides alternative power, but access to fuel presents another layer of a tough challenge to the school. Yes, the school has a generator, which we can power. But the fuel that we have can even power for just an hour. And before you came, we put it on. But because you don't have enough fuel, it went off as well. So um, at management meeting, I'm sure all these things will come out and we'll see how best we can resolve them. Earlier this month, the electricity company of Ghana initiated moves to retrieve all monies owed it by customers so it can finance its operations and also pay debts owed to the independent power producers.